Hello guys, this is Ali and today I'm going to talk about how you can get the new 3DS Citra emulator working. Um, I've decided to make a tutorial because a lot of you have been asking me how you can play games on uh, this emulator. But the first thing I would like to say is that you have to keep in mind that this is a beta emulator. It is not complete yet, but um, the simulator is frequently updated and down in the description there is a download link for the Citra OpenGL 3DS emulator. When you click on that, uh, that download link and you download the emulator and you extract the file you will see these files and the one you will be needing is this one called Citra.executable. As you can see I'm using Windows. Now when you click on it a window will pop up and shut down quickly. Now, in order for in order for booting uh, for you to boot games on this uh, emulator, you need decrypted 3DS files. Now, um, down in the description, there there uh, there's a link for how you can download 3DS ROMs if you do not have them. I do have the 3DS ROM for the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Now, um, I'm I have a method of how to 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 boot these games. Now, uh, down in the description, you will see a link for um, a, a website where you can download CIA 3DS ROMs. As you can see, I've downloaded mine right here, The Legend of Zelda, a CIA file. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to download a program called 3DS to CIA Converter. Link will be down in the description. When you open up this program, you will be met with this menu. Now you have to press free, type free and enter. Now go to option six, start CIA to 3DS converter. And then it asks you for your CIA room, ROM. Now um, I'll just go down here and uh, I will copy this name. And then I'll paste it right in here and dot CIA. You have to press enter then it will say please wait and so on and it will make your CIA room uh, your 3DS room I'm sorry I'm just gonna close it down because I've already done it because when the operation is finished you'll be met with a 3DS file the Legend of Zelda 3D.3DS you take it and you put it over this one called Citra executable and as soon as you do this as you can see it's working the loading and um, the loading sign is right here of course I'm not actually gonna make a, a, a playthrough because it's it's quite uh, slow it's I don't know it's running with 15 frames per second or, or less I'm not sure but I'll just show you the menu and that it's working press start now how do you press start Oh, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, as you can see, I've already made a profile out here. My name is Ellie, and um, I'll just press here new game just to show you what's going on. You press A, L, and I. Okay. Is this name okay? Of course it is. Do not remove the game card or turn the power off. As you can see, right up here, um, link is missing, as far as I know. We go back, and then you just press this one, just to, to start the game. Start. And there we go. Just have to wait now. I think there will be in about four or five months this game will be playable with decent speed, hopefully. Now, as you can see, it started in the vast deep forest of Hyrule. All right. Well, it is slow. Um, I think I'll just shut it down from now on. And this was all I wanted to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
and please like and subscribe. Thank you.